Is the Icelandic town of Grindavik at risk? This is my assessment. The town is evacuated already. It is on a graben formed by the opening up of the mid-Atlantic ridge. And this graben movement cre creates a downfall of blocks of rock inside the town, creates many cracks and fault lines. These cracks and fault lines are invaded by the sea. We know this by just looking at the geography of the surrounding areas. All these bays and uh, you know coves are created by the wave action invading the cracks. When the earthquake happened in November 2023, these cracks were reactivated. They were not created. They were there. We just built our structures, filled up the cracks and sinkholes, and built our homes there. This eventually will happen. The town will disappear into the sea. If there was not because of the action of the volcanism, which creates more land, we can fill up the town cracks by just doing, you know, what we are doing up to now. But that will be a temporary measure. If we not last, the next earthquake will reactivate these fault lines. We need something more permanent, not like what we have done up to now, which has practically not worked. Because the wave action is against us. We are working against the waves. But my assessment is that the actual lava field created by this eruption in January 2024 is working as a barrier. We have we will have eruption in the Hagel field north of it. The eruption will create flows toward the south and north. And this is the old lava protecting us against that. So... Grindavik, in that sense, in my opinion, is not at risk. Not by the eruption, but by reactivation of the these fault lines and cracks and the wave action. So the best way is actually let the nature, probably the lava, come and fill it up. All those cracks that people return into their home, they see, they can be filled. We can remove the structures that we have, as much as of it we can, and then let the town be taken by the lava. The only problem is that we don't have enough lava probably or this is not predictable. But the best option for filling up these cracks was to let the lava come and fill it. We have seen it in the Pompeii and Herculanum. When the lava invades the town, filling up the cracks, invading even toward the sea, it creates a new land and a land that we can build on, build a new town, new harbor. In a way, we may say that it's a lucky situation we have eruption after these earthquakes. Because that eruption, if we guide it, if we have enough magma supply, of course, and lava coming toward it or directing it toward the town, we can actually begin from a clean slate, build a new town, a harbor on the old Grindavik. That's my assessment. This volcanic hazard can be an opportunity for us if we know how to use it.